is that we are ready for political solutions. Even those offers and proposals that demand things that we regard as a very Libyan matter for the Libyan population to decide. So there are politicians and governments around the world who come and assume that they can't decide, they can't decide the future of Libya. We reject that, but because we are so keen to listen to everyone, we are so keen to save Libya from destruction, from civil war, uh, we are listening. And we are saying, yes, we will uh, try our best to meet you, uh, you know, in the middle, and see maybe how we could agree on the details, on the time frame, on how things could be implemented. And as you know, you can't come to someone and just give them a rigid proposal and say, you either accept this, you, if you are really interested in peace, you give your proposal and you wait for the reply and then you answer again. It's a dialogue, that's why it's called a dialogue.